Hello everyone and welcome to Usitility. Today we are going to see how to play Nations of Darkness on PC using the brand new BlueStacks 5, that is designed for blazing fast speed and high octane action. We will be able to easily download and install Nations of Darkness and enjoy the game on our Windows PC with keyboard, mouse and big screen thanks to BlueStacks 5, which is the Android emulator that we recommend to play Nations of Darkness. So without further ado, let's get to it. Before anything else mates, the first thing to do is to launch our favorite browser. We selected the one we prefer. Let's continue, going to that URL I'm highlighting in green color. Now, you are able to see on the screen of the PC. You don't need to type it, simply because I provided a link in the video description and as well in the first main comment. We arrived on this page on our own website of Usitility, at which we get an in-depth outline on how to obtain Nations of Darkness on computer. We browse down a little bit and then click on the download game on PC button. After clicking on that link, we land here on the site of BlueStacks, which the Android emulator that we will run to get access to that game Nations of Darkness on the PC. It is now obvious that we access some advantages of preferring using the emulator. Then, we are on the way to proceed to download the Nations of Darkness by simply clicking on the button play on BlueStacks that I have marked in green color. We then click on that button. Of course, the download action takes no time at all. Here it is, here is located the download. It is an executable file. The following step is to run the installer, so we click on the file. Windows 10 users will be asked for permission to make modifications to the computer. We clicked yes, I reduce the web browser to view the installation software better. The installation software is very easy to use. It is made up of a couple of options, install, and setup path. I will describe what setup path genuinely does. We merely click it, therefore we discover that we, they got here the path where your emulator is going to be set up. If we plan to vary this directory we have to click on that, browse, button, and we decide on another directory and install the emulator exactly where we choose. To keep it simple, just set it where it is. Then, I click on back. Therefore I just click on install. Fantastic. The install commences and it will carry on together with the download of those MB that happens to be displayed on this screen. The time you download it, it is likely to be more or less megabytes. The data transfer speed might go at a higher speed or at a lower speed, determined by your type of connection and according to the data transfer rate of the emulator web servers. Today they are progressing rather fast. The download is finished, and now it proceeds with the installation phase. With BlueStacks 5 you can even reduce RAM usage with a single click. Especially useful if you ever face performance-related problems. In addition, you can activate Eco Mode to enjoy 87% reduced CPU usage, 97% reduced GPU usage and easier multitasking. As you can see, BlueStacks 5 is built to provide stability and performance during long gaming sessions. The installation has already finished for me. At this time, the emulator has actually been launched on autopilot. As you can see now, down here, there's a progress bar that will fill up when it has reached the ending. The emulator will be started for the first time. Indeed, the emulator was already started, there for the first time. Before we keep going, as you can observe, it created a couple of icons right here on the computer desktop. The BlueStacks and BlueStacks multi-instance. Note that the BlueStacks app icon is the one we are interested in. The moment we would like to operate Nations of Darkness on our PC, we double mouse click on that software icon and therefore run the emulator. The BlueStacks multi-instance icon allows you to launch multiple emulator instances. And with BlueStacks 5's new improved multi-instance manager in Eco Mode, players can run more game instances faster and with less lag. Let me perform the following step, that is a requirement, and which is to visit the Google Play Store. And we'll simply click on Play Store. As you can view the Google Play is presented. In this case we need to log on. Presently as soon as we're there, we must definitely begin doing the following step that is definitely obligatory. So we mouse click on, sign in. At present it announces, checking info. It may occasionally get stopped at, checking info, and this fails to progress. In this case, you could attempt to log in in after a couple of hours but it will surely almost certainly be resolved. At present we shall type our email and password. The email address has to be a Gmail email address as well as its corresponding password. For instance you may use the same email address you are using right now in your YouTube account. Therefore I will provide my details and I'll revisit after I have completed it. That's all, details typed. Discover Google welcoming us and providing us their twos. We must accept all of them simply by clicking on, I agree. Then, it allow us to backup to the Google Cloud. You can also keep it checked and this will build a backup of the files on this device to Google Drive. 
I will not check it, you can utilize that option if you like. We click on accept. Google Play, formerly Android Market, is launched automatically and instantly. To set up the app, we would need to go to the Android emulator desktop by double-clicking on this icon designated in green. Currently that we are watching the desktop of this emulator for Android, we observe that we have now right here the install game option. We click or double-click on the button. At this point we access to the video game. How about we mouse-click there on the install choice that I am just highlighting now in green color. This will initiate the setup. Straight away it should install the game. It normally takes some time or it may possibly be extremely fast. It all relies upon on our own web connection. This has by then completed setting up. Back to the emulator desktop by simply clicking the following button that I'm presenting in green, that allows you to start Nations of Darkness for the very first time. You are currently on the emulator desktop, and then we are on the way to simply click this brand new Nations of Darkness app icon that has been generated. Your video game is started for the first time. Currently there we get it. I could mouse click anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I have to talk about the sound level of the emulator. It's here, we have got the icon of higher volume as well as the icon of lower volume. This way we are not going to rely on the Windows volume to increase or decrease the sound experience of the emulator. As well as to appreciate the experience to the max, we will activate the big screen, for which we have two choices. That is simply the very first one. We mouse click on this particular app icon that I am identifying in green. Then the display screen is maximized, experiencing one border on top, one on the right side and the last one at the bottom. In case that we really want to have fun with the video game using all the screen, we select that icon. And we might without a doubt be enjoying the Android game in full screen setting. To get out of the complete screen mode, click the F11 key. And we might currently be in regular computer screen setting. From now, I am ready to demonstrate you the computer keyboard mapping that is actually rather exciting. This strategy we definitely will be capable to use the game application much more easily. The first task is to click this software icon. And at this time there you will be able to get the required controls. I can leave the standard configuration, but if you really want to modify this, you can achieve it without having problem. As you can notice, the emulator is absolutely in our language. Occasionally it happens that your emulator is started in the wrong language, for instance, in Chinese language. And so to set it up in the correct language we click here to the cogwheel. And thus right here throughout additional controls, we just click the language drop down. We may go with the language we prefer, English, Japanese, and so forth. When the language is chosen, we are going to save, the emulator would restart, along with the video game, next time we start it, will of course be in the picked language. So now, there's another information that we will need to take into consideration, and it's that we will receive a message from Google Mail indicating that a new electronic device has been linked to this Google account. It will ask us if we are the individuals who have associated with that electronic device. Absolutely, we may not get worried, as the emulator is acting as an Google Android electronic device. And in order to identify which electronic device is currently being emulated, we visit here, to the cogwheel and we then click on it. So we go here to the, model, choice. And right here we determine that the emulator is behaving like a Samsung cell phone. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. This is it folks, so much for our training. I sincerely hope you enjoyed it, especially that everyone found it useful. In this case, offer it a good like, subscribe to my channel, and I will be happy to answer your feedback, requests or ideas, let them in the comment area down below. You also can comment things on my Twitch channel. I conduct live streams on occasion, you have it down below in the video description and in the initial pinned comment. Simply click any of these videos that are showing up on the screen and let's have fun again in the next video game videos. Bye.